Hey guys, Josh here, Blue Coats Academy. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. So, I don't know if anybody's seen the trailer that came out just recently for a new movie coming out this spring called Civil War. Um, the reason why I'm making a video about this movie today and about this trailer is because of the fact that much like that other movie that just came out that was made apparently that the Obamas had a hand in, what is it? The Last of Us, or oh, the um, it's not The Last of Us. What is it called? That stupid movie that came out just recently with Ethan Hawke and Kevin Bacon. The plot line was pretty good, but the movie just sucked. And when that came out, everybody was like, "Oh my God, it's a precursor." Well, how ironic is it? That, you know, 2024 is right around the corner, the biggest election of all time. And now they're coming out with a movie called Civil War, which is indeed about a civil war in our country during modern times. And the people versus the military. Or the people versus the government. But I bring this up because how, how ironic is it that we're approaching 2024, all this shit's going down. All the conspiracies around 2024, quote-unquote conspiracies, because pretty much all of them come true already. Um, so, with that said, I mean, precursor maybe? I don't know, maybe an advance warning, say, hey, this is what we're in store for. Let's do it and let's do it and let's make a movie about it so we can kind of like, you know, get people into the, uh, the mindset, oh, maybe, Ooh. who knows? I just thought it was kind of funny that they're making, they're starting to come out with movies that are more directed toward civil war, civil unrest, uh, cyber attacks on the United States, blase, blase. Um, within a few weeks of 2024, or within a month or so of 2024. Folks, 2024 is looking like it's going to be a hell of a year. So, stack food to the rafters. Stack water to the rafters, medical, f beans, bullets, and band-aids, man. Make sure you stack plenty of your freedom seeds and your um, tools for defending freedom. Make sure you st stack plenty of those, too. Make sure there are all your parts are in good working order. Um, if there's anything you guys need to top off on, I'll do it now. You know, it's a beautiful Tuesday. It's a good day to prep. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. Let's do the things to push this video outward and battle the YouTube, al YouTube algorithmic robots because they like to block and ban and shadow ban and censor everything and everybody. That's not a... Uh, unicorn loving liberal so uh let's do let's you know share the show with some of you love like subscribe share drop a comment in the section below and uh let me know what you guys think and i'll keep you posted on uh what's what else is going on in the world apparently there's a lot israel apparently uh got part of their iron dome destroyed woohoo whatever don't care i mean all things that are going on in the world. Does anybody really give a shit about Israel and Hamas? I really don't. I'm kind of over it. Same thing with Russia and Ukraine. Fucking over it. Doesn't matter. Not really. Um, I care more about what goes on in this country versus what goes on overseas. It's happening there, not here. That's their problem, not ours. So, oh, and if you think that we should stop sending money all over the freaking world to help everybody else and start helping our own citizens for a change, close our southern border, and lock this bitch down harder than a duck's ass, you know what? Hit that like button. So, uh, yeah. I'll keep you guys informed as, I'm, as things progress. Alright? Y'all have a wonderful day. Merry Christmas, folks. And have a wonderful, safe New Year.